So as India society stands in complete opposition of India's abrogation of Article 3. Who 
has been working, working tirelessly for the last week and for South Asian causes over a number of years. Kalpana will share her statement on behalf of the South Asian Solidarity Group. Thank you. We, South Asian Solidarity Group, express our deep solidarity and our unwavering support for the people of Kashmir. Yeah! Kashmir is today our 11th day of a brutal siege, facing a huge military presence with a soldier outside every single home. Communications with the outside world cut off. Shortages of food and medicines that are desperately needed and constant curfews where even the collective eat prayers were prevented. Almost more than a half thousand people as far as we know have been arrested, including political leaders and rights activists. Even though Children of 11 years old and even younger have been arrested and held for days and beaten up by the army. Many children and young men have been abducted and disappeared by the army and their families are fearing for their lives. We know that on the 5th of August, Article 317 and Article 35A have been illegally abrogated at the cover of night and in the shadow of a gun. But we know that since the 50s, the autonomy, can you, can you do me which is the first, first to guarantee to move by your banner. Your banner is in the way of everyone's oh, yeah. view. So either give your banner to someone else. Three decades, especially, have been a nightmare. You've been I'll make an announcement. Because people We've heard the 
voices of the young women in Kashmir who told the team they don't need the Modi government to come and save them. This rhetoric of saving women is exactly the same as what was used in Afghanistan and used in Iraq to justify invasion and occupation. But people will never fall for it. Like any other fascist regime, the Modi government has mobilized huge support through the rhetoric of hate and extreme nationalism. But there's also a massive amount of resistance to Modi's fascism in India by peasants, workers, students, Dalits, Adivasis, women. It is these people's movements and the revolutionary left parties who stand with them who have been on the streets protesting in India, in Delhi, against what the government is doing in Kashmir, despite the government's attempts to silence them. Now, Narendra Modi always tells the world he has the support of the Indian diaspora, but we are here to show that this is a lie. Yeah! must be condemned in no uncertain terms. It is in violation of the signed treaty between India and Kashmir that predates India's independence. It is an attack on the democratic rights of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh. It violates the Indian constitution. It is a hugely damaging blow to the fragrant structure of India and paves the way towards the destruction of the Republic of India. It puts the interests of the people of the affected area at zero concern. It brings to the fore the destruction of the Indian constitution and the unimaginable horrors of the Hindutva rule. The way it has been done by the Modi government with a thumping majority in the Legislative Assembly going through the questionable means is very disturbing. The main opposition party is in disarray. The lesser parties have simply gone along with the BJP government. Without posing any real challenge or exhibiting knowledge of any substance on the matter. In the Rajya Sabha, the opposition, despite the majority, shamelessly capulated to the government. This is totally misguided act of BJP government. 
locking up Kashmiri politicians, closing schools, closing the internet, gagging the Kashmiri press and installing more security forces in what is the most militarized area in the world. This will result in the creation of yet another Palestine in India, leading to more disarray, death and destruction. We will have a last statement from women against sexual violence and state repression from Thank you for coming out today, comrades. I'm going to read out a statement for WSS in India. WSS condemned the abrogation of Article 370 and Article 35A. Kashmiri girls and women are being sexually assaulted in their houses as they continue to be raided indiscriminately by the forces. The removal of 35A is the most visible proof of India's colonial ambitions. The article protects the rights of residents of the state in matters of ownership and control of land. Its removal is intended to change the demographic composition of land and open it up for corporate Same loot. India, same. Same 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 India, same. The abrogation. People like Mukesh Ambani has already enthusiastically responded to the call of the Prime Minister to enlarge the region with corporate investments. A massive investment summit has also been planned in October 2019. Shame! 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 Claims that the BGP government that this move paves the way for women to inherit land without acknowledging that the military is already the largest landholder in Jammu and Kashmir is absurd at its best. Kashmiri women themselves have rejected this so-called protection by Indian men whose chauvinistic rhetoric flooding social media targets the same women as instruments in this colonial project Shame. to be acquired This language of conquest is intended towards demographic changes in the region in a manner where the rights, identities and consent of Kashmiri women is entirely invisibilized. This is not the first time that the bodies of Kashmiri women have been treated as sites of conquest with a history of vast sexual violence by the military and paramilitary forces with complete impunity. We have not forgotten the sexual violence by the Indian Army in Kunan, Poshpura and Shobhyan. We have not forgotten that the Kashmiris disappeared and buried in mass graves with demand and end to this occupation of the people of Jammu and Kashmir, we demand Azadi! 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 from GMB who will be sharing our sentiments and showing us a full solidarity. Thank you! Woo! Azadin! 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 What do we want? Azadin! What do we want? Yeah. What do we want? Yeah. What do we want? Yeah. Yeah. Solidarity greetings from the Trade Union Movement. The Trade Union Movement stands with each and every one of you here we are today. And we stand with all the Kashmiri people. As a trade union movement, not only do we fight in the workplace, but we also fight in society and internationally. The fascist government of India has carried out a coup of the Indian constitution with the Kashmiris people's autonomy taken away. Surreptitiously, they took away the rights of the Kashmiris. The fascist government we know has deployed over 80,000 more militia in Kashmir, occupying schools, 
colleges, churches, and also um, hospitals. These house arrests have also included, over the years, politicians, activists, journalists, human rights, and trade unionists. That is why we stand in solidarity with you today. When your communication is ended from the outside world, you know that something is wrong. You know when there is no discussion. You know when there is no dissent. You know when there is no consent that something is really wrong. And that is why the international community needs to get together and stand with the Kashmiri people. And that is what the Kashmiri people do. This is not a democracy, it's unjust, it's illegal, it's totalitarianism at its worst. We stand with you to put pressure. The UN Security Council has to intervene forthwith. Restore Article 370. Give Kashmiris the right to self-determination. situation and to end the cycle of violence of fear within which generation after generation of Kashmiri children have grown up over the last seven decades. So we say to you, we stand with you, the Kashmiri community. So one, two, three. Occupation no more. Occupation no more. One, two, three, four. Occupation no more. One, two, three, four. Occupation no more. One, two, three, four. Occupation no more. Kashmiri Kuti Saladaji from the Trade Union Movement! Five, six, seven, eight! India is a terrorist state! Five, six, seven, eight! India is a terrorist state! Guys, we now have some friends of Kashmir, some supporters, Kashmiri people in Libya, who are distributing this around us. It's a barcode which you can sign and it will send an email to Dominic Rob condemning and asking for action. Guys, it's basically uh, it's basically a QR code which you scan with your camera and it generates an email which you copy paste and send to Foreign Secretary of UK, Dominic Raab. So my, my friend there, Mehran is there, he, he is going to distribute them and all you need to do is just scan this code that will do the job. Thank you, please, please, please send out these emails. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. We now have Faisal Khan, who is from the Pakistan administered part of Kashmir, who wants to share some sentiments of solidarity with his brothers and sisters on both line of control. Thank you so much. 
Assalamu alaikum. My name is Faisal Khan. The first message I've got here is for my brothers behind me. Someone's told me there are some Kashmiris here. Is that right? Then why do you break my heart? Why do we stand here alone? Kashmiris, come! Come down! Stand together! All of us! Come on! Ajo, Ajo, come on! Kashmiris, come down! Come here! Let's stand together! Japuche Korea, come! It's really important because there are families here, there are children here, the next generation of our struggle is here. And we must show them how to stand united. If we cannot still show them, who will? This is where they will learn. A few days ago, I was asked to come onto a radio show to debate about Kashmir. And I started speaking about Article 370, the legalities, the principles of international law. And after me, a young Kashmiri student from Srinagar went on. And I stopped to listen to what he said. He didn't speak about any intricacies of international law or principles. All he said was, I'm worried about my mother. I've not heard from her and I've not heard from my brother and sister. Amongst everything we've heard today, it's all too easy to forget what this is really about. This is really about people, brothers, sisters, daughters, sons, people like you and I. Somewhere, right now, there's a son trying to call his mother, but he can't because the phone line is dead. A father waiting to receive an email, but which he'll never get because there is no internet. There is complete silence in Kashmir. We don't know what's happening. That's the sad part. We don't know how many people are being killed. Their voice is being stolen. Imagine that was your mother, your son, your daughter. So today, today, we are all Kashmiris. You are their voices. You are their hands. You are their leadership and they are relying on you. I also want to say to the fascists, although you tried breaking us, I thank you because never in my life have I seen so many of us from all around the country, from Derby, hey, Manchester, hey. Birmingham, Luton, Azad Kashmir, Srinagar Makbuza Kashmir, even India, standing together, united as one. And that is our power. That's where our strength lies. Now promise me this, after today, this is not going to be the end. This is only the start. You will go home. You will organize. You will connect. You will activate. And you will never forget. This is about humanity over fascism. Peace over war. Love over hate. Hear, hear. And to all the little children I've seen here, we've started this. You will finish this. And to all the women especially, I've just another march where I saw so many women for the first time. So many families, but they weren't given a voice. And today, what made me happy is that today so many females spoke because I promise you, the men, we cannot do it on our own. This freedom struggle will be finished by the women of my land. And oh, hold on. Yeah, I want to know if there's anyone here who is a lawyer, and if so, can yes, you please? Yes, I've got a lawyer. Very yeah, sweet. Because some, a young child has been arrested who is here for the protest. He's also there at the police van on your right. And he needs legal support.
If you can just go to this one. Please give way for the lawyer from here. Please give way. Please give way. Just very quickly, I'm going on live stream here to about 2.9 million so uh, people on social media. We're being live streamed through a number of blue ticked accounts on Twitter, Instagram. So my final, final request to everybody here who's from all over the world, Google Kashmir, take our message, take our pain, be our voice, Azadi! 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 Amin. Azadi! Hum kya chahte hain? Azadi! Kya chahte hain? Azadi! Hum kya chahte hain? Azadi! Zara zor se bolo! Azadi! Zara zor se bolo! Azadi! Zara zor se bolo! Azadi! Har wo kahe Azadi! Har wo kahe Azadi! Hum kya chahte hain? Azadi! Zara gunt ke bolo! Azadi! Ye Kashmir ka nara! Azadi! Kashmir ka nara! Azadi! We will now have a performance by Ahmed for the performance of poetry. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سونغ سے پہلے کچھ شعر پڑھوں گا آپ سب کی داد کے لیے کہ ہم ہیں ارباب قلم عظمت انسا کے امیر ہم بھی خاموش رہیں ظلم کی حد ہونے تک یہ تو ممکن نہیں یہ تو ممکن ہی نہیں ہم کو سچائی کے پرچم کا بھرم رکھنا ہے حرمت لوہو قلم کا بھی تقاضا ہے یہی ہر ستم پر ہمیں آواز اٹھانا ہوگی ام کی شمع ہر سم چلانا ہوگی چام خالی نظر آئے تو سمو بولے گا ہم جو خاموش رہے تو لہو بولے گا زمانوں کے لیے جو شہید ہوئے جنہوں نے قربانی دی جنہوں نے قربانی دی ان کے لیے ایک سانگ ڈیڈیکیٹ کرتا ہوں سب دلوں پہ ہاتھ رکھ کر سب کو یہ سانگ آتا ہے سب مل کر پڑے میرے ساتھ اے راہ حق کے شہیدوں وفا کی تصویروں تمہیں وطن کی ہمائیں سلام کہتی ہیں اے راہ حق کے شہیدوں لگانے آگ جو آئے تھے آشیانے کو وہ سولے اپنے لہو سے بھوجا دیئے تم نے بچا لیا ہے یتیمی سے کتنے پھولوں کو سوہاگ کتنی بہانوں کے رکھ لیے تم نے تمہیں چمل کی فضائیں سلام کہتی ہیں اے رائے حق کے شہیدوں چلے جو ہوں گے شہادت کا چام پی کر تم رسول پاک نے باہوں میں لے لیا ہوگا علی تمہاری سجاعت پہ جھومتے ہوں گے حسین پاک نے ارشاد یہ کیا ہوگا تمہیں خدا کی رضائے سلام کہتی ہے رائے حق کے شہیدوں
This is Mahmoud Faiz, reporter for Jammu Kashmir TV at Kogra Square, where we've seen speakers speak from unions uh, and other movements, speaking solidarity with Kashmir. Uh, we've had, one of them was GM Union, uh, to name a few, uh, organized by South Asia Solidarity. Thousands of people have turned up, even after turning up at the I'm day one, of, uh, people have still turned up here. Shaheed Prime Minister Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. I've been in the struggle for Kashmir, and I have, my name is Amanullah Khan. I'm a founding father of Pakistan People's Party, the party which is for freedom, the party which is against imperialism, the party which is against Indian occupation. My poem is Makbuza Jammu Kashmir Se Bharti Barbariyat Ka Taafun Bilkul Aisa Hi Hai Jaisa Tha Hitler Ke Holocaust Ka Tariq Taafun Tar Tar Kar Diya Hai Indian Fauj Ne Ismat Hai Insaniyat Ka Pair Han Aman Insaniyat Mohabba Ki Iffat Ko Isi Pehna Diya Vaisai Sangeena Se Kafan और परेड शर्माया दारी और आर्मी मिलिट्री इंडस्ट्रियल कॉम्प्लेक्स का कश्मीरियों के कतलेआम पर हामोशी का जश्न ये जश्न ये बेहिसी भी है आर्मी शर्माया और मीडिया के जंगी फन दस लाख भारती अफ़ाज काबिज हैं जम्मू कश्मीर पे बराए जंगी دس لاکھ بھارتی افواج خابز ہیں جمہو کشمیر پر برائے جنگی جرائم و جسن مجھے یہ سنی درا پلیز جنگی یو ایر مجھے خدشہ ہے کہ کہیں بن نہ جائے پھر او سمہ او ناگسا کی کہیں جنوبی ایشیا کا بدن पाकिस्तान व जम्मू कश्मीर पाकिस्तान व जम्मू कश्मीर कभी भी सौदा न करेंगे पूरी तो आजादी पे चाहे भारत लाखों करे लाखों भारतीय जुल्म के जंगी देवताओं को हर सूरत करना है तो फल जाकल्ला we just want to be clear that this platform is for Kashmiri voices primarily. We want to make, we want to clarify that. یہ حق ہمارا یہ حق ہمارا ہم کیا چاہتے ہیں یہ حق ہمارا یہ سچ کنارا یہ حق کنارا کشمیر کنارا کشمیر کنارا ذرا زور سے بولو ذرا زور سے بولو ذرا زور سے بولو ہم کیا چاہتے ہیں ہم کیا چاہتے ہیں ہم کیا چاہتے ہیں ذرا زور سے بولو ذرا زور سے بولو کشمیر کنارا یہ کشمیر کنارا کشمیر کنارا ذرا زور سے بولو ذرا زور سے بولو یہ سچ کنارا یہ سچ کنارا یہ حق کنارا یہ حق کنارا
Sorry guys. <laughs> We are coming to the end of our program, so we would urge everyone to be very quiet and respectful for this last segment, which is a dua. We are hoping that our duas will reach the Almighty. So everyone, please, those of you at the back, please, those of you at the front also, everyone, please be quiet. We now have a dua. Please, if we could have silence. For those of you at the back, we have a dua. You're not going to get silence. Though. Silence! This verse of the Holy Quran talks about the oppression of people. God says it's the moral responsibility of God to stand for those who are being oppressed. The translation of the verse is right. And if two factions among the people should fight, then make settlement between the two. But if one of the one of them oppresses the other, then fight against the one that oppresses until it returns to the ordinance of the God. And if it returns, then make settlement between them in justice and act justly. Indeed, God loves those who act justly. I would also like to one of the quotes of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him regarding oppression. The Prophet said, Beware of the supplication of the oppressed, for there is no barrier between it and the God. In the light of this saying, let us all stand together and pray for Kashmir. O oh Lord, put an end to the sufferings of the oppressed Kashmiris from the current brutalities. O oh Lord, we
from uh, Indian Administrative Kashmir, from Pakistani Administrative Kashmir for being here. And uh, at the end, actually, I want to congratulate Indians on their Independence Day. I have nobody snatches this freedom from them, but at the same time, I am going to tell you, rather warning you, that that we are going to snatch our freedom from you. We hope your freedom remains with you, but we are going to snatch ours from you. This is so wrong. For those views that want to do that, they can go to www.writetothem.com. Uh, our transmission yeah. will end now in and any moment now. Jammu Kashmir, we would like to thank everyone who has been After with that, us. Please subscribe and follow.